Life is everything I've ever wanted. It's perfect. All of it. Two months ago I injured my leg and was bedridden for a bit. I had no choice but to read Neville and fully understand it. Regardless of how confusing the words were or how boring they were, I tried making the most amount of sense of it. And finally, everything clicked. So first tip, please try understand Neville as best as you can. These are the essentials to getting anything you desire. Hopefully, after my post, you won't have to ask any questions and you can get on your journey. Your self-concept. Ask yourself, whom would you be if you had your perfect life? For example, I picked that I'd be someone who felt loved, important, successful, blessed, and attractive. This is who I'd be if I was with my SP, had money, and lived well. The reason we do this is that we manifest who we are and we can only manifest what we believe we are deserving of. So working on self-concept means putting ourselves on the pedestal instead of anyone, anything else. This makes getting our SP plus any other desires easy as well as makes sure we keep them. Not working on your self-concept is setting yourself up for failure I assure you. I want you to take those qualities you listed before and make them your affirmations. So mine would now be I am loved, I am important, I am successful, I am blessed and I am attractive. I'll tell you how to use these affirmations later. Embodying this self. Embodying this self-concept now means thinking and feeling as this person. Keyword, feeling, please don't dismiss this. It's what changed everything for me. So each day what you're gonna wanna do is get on a strict mental diet. All this means is watching each and every thought as best as you can. If a negative comes, observe it. You can go to the root of it if you'd like and find out where it comes from. Find out what inner belief you have that's causing it. But for me I just like observing them and watching them roll past without any further mental conversation about it. It let them starve and die off. You can even say the opposite if you'd like. Find which way works best for you. However, always remember that you're gonna continue this mental diet forever. It doesn't stop. Now with feeling, I was always under the impression that feeling is something that will just magically come by saying affirmations that just sound like words to me. I'm sure someone will tell you that saying them will impress your subconscious and you'll start believing it but this is only true if there's feeling attached to it. I could affirm I am a billionaire for the next 12 months with no other thought without feeling and I assure you, I will not somehow become a billionaire. Please trust me on this. So how do I get feeling? As Neville says, ask yourself how would you feel were this true? So as you affirm for a few minutes throughout the day with each of your affirmations ask yourself how would I feel were I loved? Or how would I feel were I important? And you can put a little nice mental picture in your head of a situation where you're loved or whatever you want. Just as long as you feel that feeling of it being true inside of you. Doing this a few times a day here and there just got that feeling. Doesn't have to be all day. The repetition of cultivating these thoughts and feelings of the person who is living the life you want will bring about the life you want I assure you. That's the point of the techniques, they're just to ensure the repetition of feeling. You can use whichever techniques you wish, rather than affirmations you can just do all mental pictures, do whatever the fuck ever, doing the techniques a specific way doesn't matter either. Just focus on being who you would be if you had your dream life through thinking and feeling like them and you cannot go wrong. Trust me on this one. Every desire and dream lifestyle has a particular version of you attached to it. The difference between you and this version is just a matter of thoughts and feelings. I believe that you can achieve living your dreams. I truly do. You all have the gift of this knowledge. But always remember it's all about you. It always has been. 